Millions of Americans are expected to travel this holiday season, and many will be faced with skyrocketing travel costs. CBS senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg is here now with more on what you can do so you can enjoy your holidays without breaking the bank. You know, something about the pandemic, I think for two years people couldn't see their family, right? And I think that now we don't want to waste any time. We want to make sure that we, that we go and we see them whenever we can. That's right. We, we're determined to go at any cost. Yeah, but it's going to so cost it. But at any cost? At any cost. Okay, so what's the cost? That. Well, this year, holiday travel for the Thanksgiving period is up about 25% over last year, averaging about $281 a ticket. That's a lot. But the real whammy is the Christmas holiday. That's up 55% over last year, averaging wow. over $435 a ticket. But I have to caution everybody, those prices are going up 4% a week between now and the time that you want to go. So anybody who wants to procrastinate now, you do so at your own peril in terms of the price you're going to be paying. Um, so uh, we actually missed the window for the best time to buy, right? I told you. You told us two months ago <laughs> that you should buy now. So right. now we're two months overdue. We are. But, look, there's no news bulletin as to, as to when Thanksgiving shows up. Right. Uh, the, one day you, <laughs> the one day you never want to travel, of course, is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. They made a movie about that called Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> one of my favorite And you don't want to be in the remake of that movie. So <laughs> no, you don't. what you really want to do is go outside the window a little bit if you want to travel now. Travel the Thursday before Thanksgiving, mm. and then when you want to come back, don't come back that Sunday or Monday after Thanksgiving. Do the really smart move. Come back the Friday after Thanksgiving, the immediate Friday after, when everybody else is at the mall, stuck with Black Friday. Yes. You're on a plane that's empty. The fares are down. You get to return home and watch as much bad college football as you can. Uh, that's such good advice. Do people go to the malls anymore? Or are they uh, going to be stuck online uh, buying? People are still doing malls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, any guidance for people who are looking to cash out their air, airline miles before the end of the year? Yeah. The rule is here. If the ticket is $59, you don't cash in your miles. It's a, it's a very inefficient way to do it. Mm -hmm. But with airfares going up, if it's a $1,000 ticket or more, that's when you redeem the miles because that's where the miles have the most value. That makes sense. So do that now, and you can do it up to 330 days out. But the real bargains right now, believe it or not, cruises. There are over 1,500 itineraries right now where the average cost of your cabin is under $100 a day. And that includes the meals. Do, do the math. Oh, I love cruises. We found one over the Thanksgiving weekend on, on Norwegian where it's $63 a day and includes an open bar. A cruise I will avoid. But the point is... <laughs> that is <laughs> well, I won't. I no, but I mean that'll give you an idea of yeah. where the bargains really so are. So, are people still nervous about though taking cruises? Is that part of the the, the thing? With no, the they're not. The cruise lines okay. really got their act together during the CDC shutdown. Right. They really cleaned everything up. There's no very big reports of any incidents of any COVID cases, and when they were, they were asymptomatic and they were all treated. So nobody went to the hospital, nobody died. Mm. That's a big difference in going back to March of 2020. Mm -hmm. So the, the bargains are there. And there are flash sales out there right now that'll come in very quickly. Uh, we had one earlier this week, Southwest and JetBlue offering fares starting at $29. Wow. Right? But they're there only maybe 36 hours. The so cool thing is, if you jump on it, you can actually book through next February. Oh, that's And they're going to come back. There'll be another flash sale next week. You can count on it. Well, that's all great advice. Great thing about cruises, some of them anyways, daycare. If you're a parent and you have kids, ah, it's nothing like a daycare on a cruise. Uh, <laughs> Peter, thank you very much. Trust you, me. You got it. <laughs>